We're kicking off a New Year of Math Counts Minis, and in honor of a New Year of Math Counts Minis, I got some new threads. Now I'm betting you can figure out which Nationals team hooked me up with this shirt. That's a lot of words. In honor of all those words, we're going to do some word problems. Now you know the drill with word problems. Words cause problems, so we turn them into math, because math solves problems. All right, we got a bag with four blue, five green, three red marbles. I want to figure out how many green. I'm going to underline the green so I remember what I'm looking for. Green marbles must be added to the bag so that 75% of the marbles are green. All right, well, I'm going to let G stand for the number of green marbles I'm adding, and that's usually my first step with these word problems. It is assign a variable. I'm going to try to build an equation here, and hopefully that'll solve the problem. So I'm going to add some green marbles, and then 75% of the marbles at the end will be green. So the total number of green marbles I have at the end, I have my five, I add on G more. And then while well, the total number of marbles, I have four plus five plus three, it gives me a total of 12. And then I'm going to add on those G marbles. So that five plus G out of the 12 plus G is, is almost 75%. Now 75%, I'm going to write that as a fraction. i got a fraction over here. I'm going to write a fraction over there. Now I have my equation. We can just solve this. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. Multiply both sides by the 12 plus g. That gets rid of fractions. I like getting rid of the fractions. So that'll give me the 4 times 5 plus g is equal to the 3 times the 12 plus g. Now we're just going to expand both sides here. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4g. And over here we have 3 times 12 is 36, plus the 3g. And now we're all set. I'm going to subtract 3g from both sides. It'll leave me a g over here. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides, and that gives me g is 16. So I've got to make sure, last step in a word problem, how many green marbles? That's what we're looking for. How many green marbles? g is the green marbles. Got to make sure we're answering question that we're asked. Now, you know, I like to check my answers too. So I'm going to check this out and say, okay, if I added 16 green marbles in here, I'm going to have a total of 21 green marbles out of, let's see, I'll have 4 plus 7 is what I have before. It's 4 blue, 3 red, that gives me 7, plus the 21 greens, it gives me 28, and sure enough, 21 out of 28, that's 75%. That's 3 quarters, but that gives me a faster way to do this problem. You know, three red, four blue. That means that seven of the other color, whatever the other colors are, there's seven of them. 75% of the marbles are green. That means 25% are other colors. 75 is three times 25. So the green in the end has to be three times the other marbles. Well, there's seven other marbles. So the green at the end has to be 21. 21 minus five, that's our 16. So we did this problem two different ways, got the same answer. That's the gold standard of solving problems. Let's see what we can do here. Whew. More words. Almost this many words. It's a lot of words. MD rides a three-wheeled motorcycle called a trike. MD has a spare tire for his trike, so I guess that means he has four tires. He wants to occasionally swap out his tires so that all four will have been used for the same distance as he drives 25,000 miles. That's a long time on that trike. How many miles does each tire go? Well, we can start by figuring out how many miles all the tires go. We have 25,000 total miles, and there are three tires on the trike at any one time. So that gives us 25,000 times three. That's 75,000 total tire miles. And I'm going to spread that out across four tires. So I'm going to take my 75,000 and divide it by four. I'm going to simplify this a little bit first. I'm going to split this up into 75 times 1,000 over 4. It's going to give me 75 times 250. Uh, I don't want to multiply that out, but I do know that 25 times 25 is 625. So I'm going to split this up. I'm going to call this 3 times 25 times 25 times 10. So I'm, I'm a little lazy, or I should say I'm strategically lazy. I go with the computations I know how to do. 3 times 600 is 1,800. And then we got 3 times 25 is 75. And then I'm going to multiply by the 10 there. So I've got 
18,750 miles per tire. So there we go. Now, talked about that whole gold standard. Do the same problem two different ways. We're going to do that here. 25,000 miles. That's how far this trike is going. Now I got four tires. Any given time, three of them have to be on the bike. So if we want to average everything out and get every tire on there the same amount of time, each tire is going to be on there three quarters of the time. So our answer is just three quarters of the time, three quarters of those 25,000 miles is how much each tire is going to go. Three quarters of 25,000, we'll act those straight over here, and we've got the same calculation as before, get the same answer. All right, we're on to the next problem. Whew, more words. Lucy and her father share the same birthday. When Lucy turned 15, her father turned three times her age. All right, I'm going to write that down right away. I'm going to say Lucy is 15, three times her age. Dad is 45. All right, on their birthday this year, Lucy's father turned exactly twice as old as she turned. So how old did Lucy turn this year? Huh. All right, well, I'm going to guess this year's, you know, after they were 15 and 45. So let's say Lucy got a bit older. Let's say Lucy got Y years older. So Y is number of years later. And the father is twice as old as Lucy at that time. So Y years later, dad is 45 plus y years old, and that's twice as much, or twice the age of Lucy, those y years later. Now I've got an equation, we can just pound this out. We've got 45 plus y equals 2 times 15 is 30, 2 times y is 2y. Now I subtract y from both sides, subtract 30 from both sides, and we have 15 equals y. Now, again, we got to go back and check and make sure we answer what is asked. How old is Lucy this year? She was 15 at the beginning. Y years later, 15 years later, she's 30 years old. Now, once again, we're going to go back and look for another way to do this problem real quick. We see that things are changing here, right? We, we have a starting state, and then they get older. Things change. Now, when things change in a problem, we look for things that stay the same. What stays the same here is this difference. They're always going to be 30 years apart in age. So now we move to the future, we move to the present actually, we move to now, and they're still going to be, we're going to want to draw a little line here and say this whole line is dad, and this part is Lucy. So this is Lucy, the whole thing is dad. This difference, they're always 30 years apart. This is 30. And if dad is twice the age of Lucy, that means this other piece, this other piece has to be 30 as well. And there it is, gold standard of problem solving. Solve the same problem two different ways.